Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to Grandpa's Workshop. Firstly, as always, a big thank you to all my subscribers. And this week I've been back to my local car boot sale again and I picked up a second hand router. And I've also sanded and painted the little metal cabinet with the plastic drawers that I picked up from the car boot a couple of weeks ago. So, I've been to my local car boot sale again. I didn't find much this week, but I did get two cans of red spray paint. And I've got these to do uh, the little metal cabinet I got from the car boot sale last time. Because I thought, I'll do it red to match the lathe. Now, I know this won't be an exact match, colour-wise, but it'll be close enough for me. The other thing I bought was this Black & Decker router. It looks quite old. It's a DN67-47. It's a 500 watt and it's a quarter inch. But I thought, that ah, looks alright. It hasn't got a plug though, so I need to put a plug on it. But it only cost me £5. So I thought, I'll take the risk, see if it works. If it don't, I'll just bin it. Won't be a problem. So I'll put a plug on that, then I'll start prepping the uh, metal drawer set to be painted. Right, let's plug it in now and see if it works. Just put my air defenders on. Well, so far, well worth five pounds. So, I've put a router bit in this Black & Decker router and then I've encountered a problem with it. This collar goes around here, around this section. And what you do to adjust the depth is you undo this and then you're supposed to rotate this collar which then moves the motor up and down in this housing. I could not get that to turn at all. So I've removed it and I've tried refitting it and nothing. It just seems to be stuck all the time. I had to use a little screwdriver and a hammer to tap it off. But even without it you can set it to what depth you want lock it back up and it seems nice and tight so I'm gonna try it like that and if it works I'll use it like that so I'm just gonna try it on a piece of wood now
I think I went a bit deep there than what I should have done but it works quite well right I've got the uh, metal draw unit I bought a couple weeks ago and all I'm going to do is sand it with some 80 grit on the orbital sander just to clean it up a little bit and give it a key for the new paint to stick to I'm not bothered about the insides because the drawers are in there anyway and you won't see them so I'm only painting the outside and these front edges right I'm all ready to paint now I'm going to paint the sides the top and these front edges and that's it I'll give it a coat of paint I'll let it dry and I'll give it a second coat of paint and then it should be ready to go up on the wall And when you finish spraying your paint, flip your can upside down just to clear the nozzle. You spray some air through and it stops your nozzle getting clogged. So that's the little storage drawers fitted. It's a darker red than I'd have preferred. I'd have preferred something a bit brighter and lighter to match the lathe. But that's not really a big problem. At least it's red. Some of these drawers have got missing handles or broken handles. But I'll work out in the future what to use to replace them. I need to get some cardboard to make the little tags so I can label what's in each drawer. 
other than that, I'm quite pleased with that. It looks a lot better than what it did. So, as always, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.